right, welcome. Today we're gonna do something on the bus. <laughs> what we're doing is a how-to video on how to replace your school bus hatch with the marine hatch. To start off, here's the tools that I use to do my hatch install. Here's an angle grinder, a cutoff wheel, a brush attachment, whatever this is called, whatever this is called. To help me get that new hatch in, I used a hammer, a wonder bar, and some clamps. To drill my pilot holes, you're gonna need a power drill. And to set your screws, you're gonna need an impact driver. For your sealant, you need a caulk gun. And materials were number 12 zinc plated screws, neoprene washers, a couple tech self tapping screws, and Dicor self leveling lap sealant. Safety gear. I have gloves and I have safety glasses. We gotta remove this hatch, and that means getting rid of rivets. There's a lot of ways to take rivets out. It's an angle grinder with a sanding disc attachment. This will grind the heads off the rivets pretty quickly, and then I'll be able to take this hatch out. Take two. Don't come home, pretty woman. Don't come home. Don't come home, pretty woman. Don't come home. It's bad enough that you leave me alone. Don't come home, pretty woman. Don't come home. Now, I believe I should be able to pick up this whole hatch now that I've got the rivets removed and the adhesive broken. And the next thing we got to do is clean up these edges. Love is blind, pretty woman, don't go blind. With your high and dying dreams on my mind. There's a big black bird doing rings in the sky. Love is blind, pretty woman, don't go blind. In the room, the women come and go. Talking of Michelangelo with their five o'clock faces and ten o'clock dreams. Like now, I don't want her to want water to pool between here and here. So I'm taking off this edge, which is just old sealant. So I got this looking great. I'm finally happy with it. It's all cleaned up. My hatch is just a tiny bit too big. I'm gonna cut a little bit of that out and clamp him in. It's gonna come right in. So now that I've got my hatch in, the next step is to drill out these holes. Because I'm using a number 12 zinc plated screw, I need a size 532 drill bit. For this hinge, because the instructions say they want me to use a size 10 screw, I'm using these size 10 self tapping tech screws. All right, now that all my pilot holes are installed, I'm gonna pull this thing out, clean the metal shavings, apply some sealant underneath, pop it back in again, and screw the dang hatch in. I'm using Dicor lap sealant.
right, so there it is. Hatch is installed. I'm going to add a bunch more of the decor. I just gotta order some more. You can stand here and look at the stars. Passive ventilation. Easy access to your roof. Just a beautiful piece of hardware. I mean, look at that. It's gorgeous. In the room, the women come and go. Okay, we really gotta go now. All right, get out of here. Hey, uh, subscribe to our channel. Do it. Yeah, just do it. Um, subscribe to our channel. Please do it now.